Hello, um, I thought I'd do another look-see on uh, something cheap I bought on eBay. As I've said before, you can buy a lot of cheap rubbish on the internet. Um, and it's funny how a lot of people have been reviewing this and saying it's really good. Um, but I'm sorry, but it's rubbish. Um, let me talk you through this little tripod. Now, you can buy similar ones to this um, from the UK. Um, but basically they all come from Hong Kong or China um, I got this from Hong Kong um, cost me a pound uh, it took about three weeks to come um, and I thought I'd just talk to you yes it was only a pound um, but even so it's a piece of rubbish anyway let's talk about the tripod and what it's got now on this tripod it's got a um, a screw there obviously to loosen the head so the head can do lots of things such as uh, turn the angle like that which is not too bad I thought that's okay um, now it looks metal but it's not um, that top part there is plastic um, these legs seem to be like um, a tin or aluminium um, alloy um, which isn't that sturdy um, and in fact when I actually moved the uh, leg out a little bit I don't know if you can see that on there But there's a little crack, I think you can just see it on the camera. Because when I extended it to its, what it's supposed to be, it cracked the plastic there. So I didn't think that was very good. When you extend the legs you think, whoa that's alright, that's okay. Cool. Not too bad. Unfortunately, when you do this, you know. Imagine an expensive camera and you've got this near the edge of your, your table and it falls over. You're going to break and damage a very expensive camera, aren't you? Because of a cheap piece of rubbish. Um, these legs twist. The ends are plastic. Um, so there's nothing to stop it sliding. You know, you know I would have thought that would should be rubber at the end. These legs don't lock and they don't stay, so any sort of weight, I can see after a period of time a bit of wet and tear, those will go straight back in there every time you try and put it up. Um, the only thing that's keeping it up is a bit of friction, um, but over time, um, any weight on there is going to do that. Ooh. I've broken my camera, what am I going to do? Um, so, I've seen a lot of people on eBay review this and think, oh it's good. Well, I've had a lot of tripods and a lot of experience with cameras and monopods and stuff like that. And uh, my rating on this, I know it only costs a pound. You could say, well, what do you expect for a pound? Well, yeah, sometimes you get a good deal on eBay, sometimes you don't. Um, so, my review of this uh, little tripod um, is don't get it if you want something that's going to last. Generally tripods last a long time and you don't need um, a new one for like many many years. In fact I've had a tripod for five years and I've never got a new one until recently. I not only did that because I wanted something that was a bit smaller um, with a handle on it. So that's my review of this little tripod. Um, there are better ones out there. I believe believe their hammer tripod, um, mini tripod uh, compact one is pretty good. I'll be getting that um, in about a week and I'll do a review on that and uh, I'll show you how good that is. But for the time being, um, my review of this tripod is a thumbs down. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.